This question might be one of the most common questions that I get all of the time. With kids spending more time on screens these days, whether it's TVs, phones, tablets, computer screens, distance learning with school, the answer to the question if kids need blue blocking glasses might surprise you. So let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, and I'm on a mission to keep your eyes healthy and your vision clear, and I do videos all about the eyes. So consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now let's talk about blue light and kids' glasses. Now this video is part of a more in-depth series of videos about blue light and blue light blocking glasses. I'll add more videos to the series as I go along, so make sure you check out the link to that series in the description below. Now let's do a quick review of what blue light actually is. Quick whiteboard action here. This is the spectrum of light represented by wavelengths of light. With this side being short wavelengths, high energy. It's kind of like having a super punch that can punch through multiple layers. Whereas this side, large wavelengths of light carry low energy. It's kind of like just slapping your hands around, very low energy. This small little section here is visible light, what we can actually register and see. Now on the smaller side of wavelengths, high energy is the blue light. And that's why blue light is studied so much in detail to see how much that can affect our eyes. Blue light is broken down roughly from 400 to 500 nanometers of wavelength, with 400 to 450 being the high energy visible light. We'll talk about that more in detail. 450 to 500 being the area that can affect our sleep cycle. Let's talk about this more in detail. Now there are three main areas of study of how blue light affects our eyes. Number one, is blue light dangerous? Is it causing damage to our eyes or our children's eyes? Number two, does blue light cause or contribute to digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome from using the screens a lot? And number three, how does blue light affect our sleep, our circadian rhythm, or our biological clock? The first area relates to that high energy visible light and can it damage our eyes? Now the studies and the science aren't there yet. There were a couple studies where they showed on rats eyes and human retinal cells on petri dishes where they exposed them to large amounts of high energy visible light, more than we'll ever get in our lifetime, did show damage to those cells. But our eyes do have their own protective mechanisms in there, so can we automatically make that leap that's going to damage the eyes? We can't make that leap yet, so that's one thing you just want to be careful with other blue light blocking glasses companies when they make that claim. You just want to be careful there. The next area that's studied is if blue light from your screens is actually causing digital eye strain. And the studies on this one are completely mixed. There's some studies that show yes, there is definitely a link. Some studies, even more recent studies show no, blue light is not causing the digital eye strain. And we'll find that in the clinic as well with patients. Some patients will have that blue block on their glasses and say it's a game changer, completely helps them with their eye fatigue and digital eye strain. And some patients that have it say there's no difference at all when they have it on their glasses. What we do know is that computer vision syndrome is caused by extended use of screens, tablets, phones, and that's usually from using your focusing muscles for a long period of time. When you're looking at a screen, focusing on a screen, your eye muscles can get fatigued and tired, causing that digital eye strain. Not necessarily coming from the blue light that's coming from the screens. Now this is where I want you to pay attention. The next area that's studied is how blue light affects your sleep your circadian rhythm or your biological clock. Now generally how light does this, when the sun comes up, your eyes see the light, sends the signal to the brain and halts the production of melatonin so you're awake and alert during the day. When the sun goes down, your eye notices that there's not any light, sends the signal to the brain, the brain starts the production of melatonin which makes you get tired, makes you fall asleep and makes you have a better, more restful sleep. Now does blue light affect your sleep or your child's sleep? This is a yes, an absolutely yes, this is true and this is the important one. Now the wavelength of blue light can suppress the production of melatonin twice as much as green light or other colors of light. That's why the blue light coming from your screens can actually affect you and your children and their sleep. Now the peak wavelength of blue light coming from your screens is about 455 nanometers and that falls in that area where it can affect your sleep 
cycle. So if your children are using screens closer to bedtime, that blue light can suppress melatonin production and mess with their sleep. And this is where blue light glasses come in handy. For blue light blocking glasses, you wanna get glasses that block that area of wavelength to help with your child's melatonin production. Usually when you're picking out blue light blocking glasses, you'll notice that they have a yellow tint or even a darker orange tint. These will block that area or that wavelength area that is messing with the sleep cycle. So quick recap, is the blue light coming from screens actually damaging your child's eyes? We can't make that leap. In fact, the blue light coming from screens is nowhere near the amount of blue light that comes from the sun. And so likely the blue light coming from your screens is not damaging. Number two, does the blue light coming from screens cause digital eye strain? Maybe. Blue light glasses might help with that. You'll also find some kids where they don't even notice any improvement with blue light blocking glasses there. Number three, and this is the big one, is the blue light coming from screens messing with your child's sleep? Yes, it's messing with their melatonin production, and this is where blue blocking glasses will help. Hey, if you're on a screen right now and you're wearing blue light glasses, hit that like button and comment below how they work for you. So after all that being said, what do I recommend that you do for your child to protect their eyes. The number one recommendation is to stop all screen time at least two hours before bedtime. Now this will probably be the hardest recommendation to follow, especially nowadays, but if you can stop screen time two hours before bed, that will help your child sleep, memory retention, and overall health. The next thing that I'll recommend is to get an updated eye exam. You wanna make sure that your child doesn't have any uncorrected astigmatism, farsightedness, nearsightedness, eye teaming issues. They can get glasses that can help with those specific issues, and that alone can help reduce their digital eye strain. Recommendation number three involves computer vision syndrome. Now I did a specific video about that. You can check that here or in the description below. The main thing here is for your child to use the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break looking 20 feet away, making sure that they're blinking their eyes, that they're relaxing their eyes. They mainly get a break from the screens that they're using, keeps their eyes from getting dry, and overall helps their eyes from getting strained out from screen use. Number four would be to take advantage of the blue filter or night modes on the screens that you're using. A lot of computer screens or computer programs, phones, tablets, even some TV screens have a blue filter or a night mode that filters out the blue light. I would definitely take advantage of that, especially if they're using screens getting closer to bedtime. And my final recommendation, after you've done all the other recommendations, those being more important, then I would get your child blue light blocking glasses. Now you wanna be specific on what blue light blocking glasses you're gonna get for your child. You wanna get glasses that will block that wavelength of blue light that affects your child's sleep cycle. And that usually involves blue light glasses that have a yellow tint or even a darker orange tint that blocks even more of the blue light. Now unfortunately, that tint will change the color of the screens, and so your child might not like it, but it's important to block that area of blue light, especially if they're using the screens getting closer to bedtime. Now as you're searching for blue light glasses, you might find some that have a subtle yellow tint to them. These are probably still blocking a certain small percentage of that important blue wavelength of light and they don't change the color of the screens as much as those other glasses do, so your child might like wearing these more than the darker yellow or orange tints of glasses. Now you'll also find clear blue light glasses that maybe have a blue light block coating on them. Those glasses are likely just blocking the high energy visible wavelength of light and not even touching the wavelength that affects your sleep. So those would be last on the list of what I would recommend. Now that being said, when you go to your local optical or local eye doctor, the blue block that they can put on your glasses is a higher technology, meaning they can keep the lenses fairly clear and still block that high energy visible light and the blue light wavelength that can affect your sleep. So usually the blue block that you have on your prescription glasses from your local eye doctor is better quality. Now one thing I wanna note here is that blue light and the effects of blue light is still being studied today. So a lot of these recommendations might change in the future. We'll just have to be open for the changes as new studies come in. Now as you're looking for blue light glasses, see if you can get your hands on a spectral analysis of those particular glasses. That will tell you what wavelengths and what percentages of blue light those glasses actually block. And that will be very helpful to know if those glasses 
glasses are worth getting. Now what's tricky is a lot of the blue light glasses that you can get on Amazon don't give that information out. They might not even have that information. So it's really hard to tell what those glasses are actually doing. Now remember to check out the description below. I hooked you up with some links to some certain blue light glasses that I recommend. And if you get a chance, please share this video. There are a lot of people that are wondering if they need blue light blocking glasses for their children. As always, thanks for watching this video. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Stay focused. Make sure that you check out my other videos right there, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.